So in this problem, we need to show that cosine of 8 degree minus sine 8 degree divided by cosine of 8 degree plus sine 8 degree equals 10 to the 7 degrees. So we'll start a problem from the left hand side. So in the left hand side, what we'll do, we will multiply both numerator and the denominator with a factor 1 over square root of 2. So we have 1 over square root of 2 multiplied to cosine 8 degree minus sine 8 degree. And we'll also have to multiply it to the denominator. We have 1 over square root of 2. To it, we're going to multiply cosine of 8 degrees plus sine of 8 degree. Then the question arises why we're multiplying with 1 over square root of 2. Now this will become evident in a moment. So let's rewrite this as 1 over square root of 2 multiplied to cosine 8 degrees minus 1 over square root of 2 multiplied to sine 8 degrees. Whole divided by... 1 over square root of 2 times cosine of 8 degrees plus 1 over square root of 2 multiplied to sine 8 degree. Now we know that sine 45 degree, this has got a value 1 over square root of 2. And this is also the value for cosine of 45 degree. So that means wherever we have 1 over square root of 2, we will replace it with either cosine 45 degree or cosine 45 degree. But there is a particular way in which we substitute the value. So for the numerator part in the first term, we will replace 1 over square root of 2 with sine 45 degree only. We will not start with cosine 45 degree. This is also going to get evident in a moment. So multiply to cosine 8 degree minus, since we have already used sine, so we are going to use cosine 45 degree in place of 1 over square root of 2 in the second term of the numerator. To it, we are going to multiply sine 8 degree whole divided by sine. Uh, now, this time we are going to replace with cosine 45 degree multiplied to cosine 8 degree plus sine 45 degree times sine 8 degree. Now, is the expression in the numerator and the denominator looking familiar? If not, then let me straight down to formulas. So, let's say if we have sine a minus b. Now say sine a minus b, that's actually sine a multiplied to cosine b minus cosine a multiplied to sine b. And here, if we consider, let's say a value that's equals to 45 degree and our b value that's equivalent to, uh, let's take it as 8 degree. Then in that case, the right hand side of the expression that will become sine 45 degree multiplied to cosine 8 degrees minus cosine a will then become cosine 45 degrees minus sine 8 degrees so this is the expression in the numerator and if we have this particular expression then this can be also expressed as sine of the compound angle which is the difference of 45 degree minus 8 degree now what's 45 degree minus 8 degree so that's nothing but sine 37 degree so this will be equals to sine 37 degree so that means our numerator portion can be replaced with sine 37 degree now coming to the denominator so here we'll be applying the formula cosine of a minus b which will be equals to cosine of a times cosine of b since we have a negative sign here so this will become positive multiply uh, more positive of sine a times sine b so we'll use the fact that a is 45 degree and b is 8 degree then we can rewrite our expression as cos 45 degrees multiply to cosine 8 degrees plus sine 45 degrees times sine 8 degrees which is nothing but the expression in the denominator so that means this expression can be also written as cosine of 45 minus 8 degree which is 37 degrees meaning our denominator is now equivalent to cosine 37 degrees now what's the ratio of sine of a cosine we know that's the tangent function so we get tangent of 37 degree and this is the expression on the right hand side so we have hence successfully showed that the left hand side of the expression is equals to the right hand side which is tangent of 37 degrees